Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler, anchoring from home tonight. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith, the first to report on this developing election story. He joins us now live at that voting location in Pinellas County. Ryan. Jamison and Wendy, what we have here are two armed security guards who told responding Pinellas County deputies that they were hired by the Trump campaign. Now, campaign officials today denying that claim. I did speak with one voter who is here witnessing this all go down. He describes it as alarming. He wasn't there to vote. He wasn't walking to the polls. He was there standing there to make his presence known. Ben Pereira says his early voting excitement quickly soured into concern. I noticed his gun. That was the first thing that uh, I noticed as a voter was that this man was carrying a weapon. The Trump campaign denies any involvement. City officials worry voters are being intimidated. Not going to be tolerated. Um, voter intimidation is not going to happen uh, in my city. Uh, it's not going to happen in Pinellas County. I've learned Pinellas deputies will now patrol each early voting location, but so far the sheriff does not see anything wrong here. Bottom line is, is that their mere presence doesn't violate the law. With less than two weeks out, this voter thinks about his mother working at the polls in his hometown. They shouldn't have to be in those polling locations worrying about whether or not it's safe for them, whether or not someone's going to come in and potentially try to cause harm or wreak havoc. And that private security company, a rep telling us this afternoon that those two armed security guards were here off duty, but in uniform on their own free will. And the company says absolutely they were not representing or hired by any political campaign. That's the latest live here in downtown St. Pete. Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.